The Senate Judiciary Committee will vote on Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination on Friday. That's just one day after a Bay Area woman is scheduled to testify about his alleged sexual assault. Reporter Nicole Killian has the latest from Capitol Hill. Senators say they're eager to hear from Dr. Christine Blasey Ford Thursday, the first person to come forward and accuse Judge Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. We're going to have to sit and listen and hear both sides and, and go from there. But both sides are accusing the other of playing politics. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called the accusations a smear. That vague, unsubstantiated, and uncorroborated allegations of 30 plus year old misconduct is nowhere near grounds to nullify someone's career or destroy their good name. That drew a swift rebuke from the Democratic leader. To say they're making it up, to discredit their sincere testimony is nothing more than a partisan hit job. Leader McConnell owes an apology to Dr. Ford for labeling her allegations a smear job. Democrats are calling for an FBI investigation to get to the truth. We need to take the time to investigate what happened. We need to get this right before the Senate votes on anything. Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski, one of the few swing votes in this process, said she would support that plan. An investigation would certainly, certainly uh, clear up some of the questions that are out there. But Leader McConnell says a vote will happen quickly after the hearing scheduled for Thursday. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.